Hi, my name is Vovo Feldman and I'm the founder and lead developer at Freemius. If you are a plugin developer as I am, you already know that WordPress.org only provides some basic stats about downloads and an estimated count of your plugin's active installs. And that's it, which makes it very hard, practically impossible to make any data-driven decisions. In this quick screencast, I will show you how in less than two minutes you can add advanced analytics to your plugin and learn who are your users and how they use your plugin. For today's example, let's use the popular plugin Ninja Forms. The first thing that we need to do is to create a plugin on Freemius with a matching slug and title. Now I'm going to copy the title and click on Create New. All we need to do now is to follow the step-by-step -step instructions from the SDK integration tab in the dashboard. The first step is downloading our latest SDK from GitHub. And copying the Freemius folder into the plugin. Next, we'll pick a favorite shortcode for the SDK or just keep the default one we order generated for you. I will leave the WordPress.org compliant checkbox as is, since NinjaForms is a .org plugin. Now, if your plugin has a custom getting started page, we need to copy the relative path to that page and paste it here. Let's activate NinjaForms and see if it has one. Perfect! I'll simply copy that path and paste it back on Freemius. Now we need to tell Freemius where the plugin settings menu item is located in the admin dashboard. Let's figure that out. In the current plugin context, we see that it's a top level menu, but we also need to know what's the slug of that menu. For 90% of the plugins, if we simply click on the menu item, the slug is the value of the page argument in a query string. If you are not sure about your menu slug, we crafted a tiny plugin that you can download from our GitHub that will append the slug right after every menu item. Great! As you can see, the slug is ninja-forms as we suspected. Now I'm going back to the integration page and simply filling up what we found. I'm selecting top level menu and now I'm simply gonna paste the slug. Done! To finalize the integration, all we need to do is copy the auto-generated snippet and paste it into the plugin. And that's it! Let's see how Freemius empowered the plugin. Now when the plugin is activated for the first time, the SDK will override the setting page with a beautiful open off light opt-in screen. The WordPress admin can opt-in or skip and can see what exactly is the information that will be captured. You can and probably should customize the message to make it align with the language style and tone that matches your plugin. So if the user clicks skip, no data will be sent to Freemius afterward. But if the user connect, we get permissions to capture the data. Let's go back into Freemius and see some magic. If I click on the users tab, we can immediately see the opted in user. Same thing with sites, we can see all the domains that opted in. And if we want, we can even dive into the specific site level to get different metrics like the site language, PHP and WordPress versions and more. If we go to the dashboard, we can see an aggregated view of the data filtered by time range. And if we take a look on a real active plugin, the data looks more like that. You can see how many users opted in, how many installations are still active, and more interesting activity metrics. On the right side, you can see the distribution of your plugin versions and the WordPress and PHP versions of the sites that are using your plugin. If we scroll down, we can see the top 10 languages of the sites using your plugin. You can leverage that data to focus your translation efforts to those languages and get a better marketing coverage by local bloggers. Now let me show you another super cool feature by Freemius Insights. Did you know that 20% of the users who install your plugin will abandon it within the first 15 minutes and will never come back? Today you have no way to know why these users uninstall the plugin. Let's see what happens when a user uninstalls a Freemius Pirate plugin. I click deactivate and boom! 
Instead of just deactivating, the user gets a feedback form where he or she can share the reason of the uninstallation. You'll be surprised, but 8 out of 10 users happy to tell you what's wrong with your plugin. And trust me, you want to capture that data and Freemius does it for you. Now let's jump back to the dashboard. At the bottom right, we can see the top reasons why users uninstall your plugin. This data can help you understand the weaknesses in your plugin, so you can fix them to provide a better product. And if we want to dive deeper, we can simply click on any of the uninstallation reasons and see all the relevant sites. So let's say that we notice that a significant chunk of the uninstallations caused by the same missing feature. As a plugin author, you might decide to develop this feature. Once you have it released, you can go to the dashboard, filter by this feature, and find all the domains that uninstall the plugin because of that. Then you can try to win them back by sending an email announcing that feature is now part of the plugin. Another cool feature is the events and webhooks mechanism. Freemius Insights is highly extendable, Every event in the system is logged and can be consumed by a custom webhook. For instance, when the user opts in, you can push into your MailChimp list. When the user updates a plugin to a newer version, you can trigger an automated email to tell him about the new features of that release. Thanks for taking the time to watch the Freemius Insights demo. Now it's your turn to integrate Freemius into your plugin. Don't hesitate to contact support at freemius.com. We're always happy to help.